Hello guys. It's only the four of you. Where are the other members? Today. What do you mean they've left? Can you give me more context on that? You mean like they've resigned? You guys are participating in this. Yeah, I don't think you guys can participate in this. Plus, you guys don't have that kind of the oomph. So, the oomph. Hmm? You don't have the oomph. Let me check this other guys. Yes, yeah, you see, this class has the oomph. Guys, how are you guys? This what? You should be saying me. Some, some. Okay, so the lesson for today, um, I'm gonna be having it with the other class. So for you guys, can you uh, go to YouTube? Think it's something that you like that one. Alright, YouTube. Instead of watching those music videos and my tracks, you search for my name. That's what you can hold me. This game computer is even locked. Why? You will never get Search for my name on YouTube. Together with my sign name. B A K A L I. Right, this is the live session we're having. This one. This one which is live. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna there's an assignment linked to this, so you need to watch and try to implement. If I'm moving fast you can't hear me. This one which is written like if you're moving fast and you can't hear me, please say try to be connected to the community. So you're supposed to watch and at the same time implement. Yes. Wait, why are you like me? Do you need a mic or something? Yes, yes, we are using advanced technology. Oh. Mics, we are using your, your own mic thing. Right, I'll be in the other class, so please um, type the, the questions that you have. Right. So in the meantime, you can open Visual Studio and um, Server Management Studio. I think it's listed on what we need. To. It's gonna take us about an hour to do this. Jim, uh, can I be in my job? Have you seen that you guys are missing a lot of assignments? That means you guys are checking it out. Hello. Hi. Okay, so there's one more which is new, but for you to be able to do this, um, we're doing it online today. So if you go to YouTube, you search for my name, there's a live session on the right now. Right. So it's including the level 4 guys who are a bit ahead and on the level 5. Yeah, do that. It's like me. Mm -hmm. uh, are you busy? What's up?
Where's the air? Right now, I like to say it's supposed to give me the change at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, close it. Double click on the patches. Um, okay, you convert the cash. If change is less than zero, not enough money. Then where are you calculating your change? When I when I put that code, there's an error. Isn't change supposed to it's be? Change. You have a variable for change. Change equals to um, amount minus the price, right? All right. I think the amount is cash. Minus. Where's the total? So this is uh, minus price. Okay. If change is less than zero, not enough change. Else, let's cut this line. Put it on the else. That's and it. Can I do this one first and then show you what I don't do? Right. We are about to start, guys. So hang in there. In the meantime, open Visual Studio and uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Hi, Julie. Yes. Photograph. Skill. This is what we're doing just now. So you'll be doing it now? Yeah. In test? Yeah.
look surprised. You are not expecting to see me, eh? No. Yeah, unlike. Oh, my God. You might have to go up and do that thing again. You remember that thing? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, in fact, we don't need it. We're good. We don't need it. So, guys, uh, let's start. Uh, we are live, ne? So that the other class can also join in on this uh, application. So, I don't know if this class... Have, you guys don't need the mics and everything. Can you go to YouTube? I know you're already there. Ne? Are you on YouTube? Yeah. Why not? Open YouTube. Quickly, guys, quickly, guys. There have been people here on the waiting list. So let me check here. We do have people. Oh, yeah. on the tube yeah so if you are on YouTube please search for my name it's spelled like uh, T H E N T O and then space B A K A L I H-E-N-D-O B-A-K-A-L-I Right? If you search for that, then you will see that there's a live session. Right? So just open that live session. And then that's where we'll be working from. And if there is any sound coming from your PC, just make sure that, uh, you know, turn off, things like that. Uh huh. That's the one. So that's what will be. You'll be. You'll, you'll not be looking at the port, but you'll be looking at this. So this is the brief of the application. It's a very simple application. How soon does it change on your screen? Can you see the brief? Huh? Nothing. What do you see? Yeah. Read. Read for me what you can see there. Okay, that means we are together now. So, what will be happening is that we'll be building an application for voting, right? So, do yourself a favor. As you can see, the listed tools that we'll be using is Visual Studio together with SQL Server Management Studio. Let's op quickly open those two things. All right, so I'm opening my Visual Studio as we speak. And I'm also going to open my uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Okay. And we're going to try by all means to follow um, the structure of our questions here or of our brief, which says, um, okay, the programming language that we'll use is C Sharp, and we'll also use SQL. A different chair. Okay. So, um, these are the sprint, ne? So let's do this first. So I want to show you something what we deal with uh, in terms of the task that are supposed to do. These are the to-do list in terms of the applications. So we're going to navigate back to our browser. I'm going to try to wait for the for your computers to respond before we move further. Okay. So we'll navigate to the browser. 
and on the browser i want you guys to check something called um uh, trello right so trello you just type t r e l l o and from that that um trello thing just navigate to trello and try to register if they say way you can be able to register but it's a basic understanding of um or it's what we use for project management so since we are building projects we must have a software that we use or a platform wherein we update our task say for example the task that have been listed in our brief in the meantime please go through the trello thing just it's a simple registration for sure if you have already a, a google account it should be easy to navigate around so if we read the task we're saying the first thing is to design the front end right that becomes a task second one we're saying validate the data using back end okay that is another task and all of these become tasks that we must do right so if you have successfully registered on trello which i'm navigating to right now so if you have successfully opened trello um dot com and you're able to register then i'm gonna take you through how to create those tasks so this becomes your welcome page on trail it should be easy i don't think there's any validation needed um on trail what are the issues that you are facing guys on um, money. money no no it's free <laughs> all of you it's saying it needs money yes? is a what ah no if you don't we're not doing any trials or anything like that what is it saying name of your workspace okay so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to log out to mine and log in using an email i just currently did log in to another account just wanna see what are you guys guys faced with so i'm gonna say continue with google use another account and the other account i want to deal with is uh i think i have an account called the programmer uh i forgot is it called the new hacker yeah the new hacker the new hacker oh i really forgot that account let me try it this side in terms of oh the nice program okay i created an account not so long ago if you check some of the videos called the nice programmer so i'm gonna use that one and i think i still remember the password Okay, so you see now it's saying create an account. I'm sure you, you were here at some point, ne? When you are saying it asked for uh what is this? For money. Right? So I'm just gonna say create the account. And I wanna see this stage where you're saying it's asking for money. There we go. Trello helps team move work forward. Just press OK here right login right let me type that email and i'm gonna use the password saved in my thing here okay anyone else who's facing the money issue Ah. 
let me just say continue with Google the nice programmer there we go so it's important for you to have a project management platform so what we see on the screen right now is um, it's a Trello sort of um, workspace creation right so all we need to deal with right now is to give it a workspace so let's say for example I have a workspace called dynamic um, or let's just say uh, database project so I will say database projects right or anything we can call it programming projects programming projects and then or you call it by what we're doing so we're doing a voting system so you can say voting system right and then if you have got members uh, you will see later on when we start group presentations if you have got multiple members what will happen is that you will have to invite them for uh, uh, one person creates a, a, a workspace and then you invite your friends right your group members on the email say so you start uh, uh, mentioning them here but if you are a loner riding alone like me here you can say um, let's go so I will just say take me to Trello here as you can see so don't select that option which which redirects you to 30 days um, trial you need to just make sure that uh, it takes you to the home page of Trello okay so from there what we're going to have now we are going to create our first bot right so check that this is a voting system we need to create our first bot so we can call this bot um, you see you can create even colors and things like that so I'm gonna create a bot here um, with this color and I'm gonna call it um, uh, voting system development right so it will be visible to my uh, workspace then I'll just press create there and then you will see the platform changes it changes the theme according to what I have selected there right and it, 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 it's quite easy to move around now there are three things that you can visibly see here which is the to do these are the task the doing right and the done so this helps in development teams in this way um, if if it's a lot of us working on the same thing right one person can be given if you still remember the task I'm just gonna load up the task once more so from the project manager and the system analyst they would have come up with all these tasks in terms of for us to deliver this project this is what we need to to have at the end of the day so for example how many tasks do we have uh, uh, from our list there we have designing the front end right we are validating the data using back end we have sending an email we have designed the database connect using c sharp and sql um, uh, we have more validation happening there and then we test the application we can just add here and say publish the application publish right and this will all be our task so what I can do I can copy all this task that I have here right can copy all of the task and move them to Trello right very important I'm, I'm, I'm I'm spending much more time here because I know I'm gonna be requesting you to do group presentation and start working as a team so you must understand how it, it looks like in the industry in the industry they give you tasks like this to say okay you will be working on designing the front end someone will work on doing what what right and you must show what's happening so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna move it to Trello once more so once I'm in Trello what I'm gonna do from that section which is our uh, um, our board that we created um, you will see the list of to do right this is where we'll paste all of those tasks 
and when the minute I start doing something, I put it on doing, right? And then when I'm done, I move it to what? To done, to the section for done. Eh? It makes it easier for us to navigate around. Uh, uh, if I'm the project manager, I'm able to see that employee number, what, what, what is struggling because they are still stuck on doing, right? They are not moving their task on what? On done. That means they are lagging here and here and we can see how we can assist. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to paste all of those tasks and I'm going to divide them one by one. I'm going to do this a little bit faster. Um, whoa. Uh, no, no, I didn't want it to look like that. Um, Okay, so the first task will be design the watch. So if I had team members, what I will do, I would have added a member to say, okay, this will be done by Tinashe, right? This will be done by, I can assign this task to someone. Okay, like that. So I have the first task or the first card and I can paste the other cards as I wish. Uh, Add another cut and I'm just dividing those tasks into cut by cut can someone remind us why why are we using trail what is the reason for using trail eh? to, to to keep track of what's happening right and then as a project manager you need to have this kind of um, uh, systems available to you to see especially now imagine during covid i don't have to be going physically to each employee to say what are you busy with right i can just go online and check that oh from this group they are busy with this from this group they are busy with this okay i think this is the last card i'm gonna make there we go so in most cases these cards you will have them listed here with the people they belong to right so i can assign this card to tinashe i can assign this one to adonia to tendai to nyalofa according to how i'm deciding uh, uh, is the strength of my team right if you are hired as a database designer obviously we'll assign you the database one if you are uh, a front-end developer will assign you anything that has to deal with front end okay so now um, according to, the, to this list, it's not really important in terms of the order, but then the order will be easier if we come with it from designing the front end, right? We can start also with the database, but I'm going to take the front end one. As you can see, I'm going to move this ticket or this card called designing the front end and I'm going to throw it, right? I'm going to throw it at doing. Is it visible there on your screen, guys? Right? That means at this moment, I am now busy with this. I, 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 will, I will all together there. At the same time, I'm going to move what we call designing the database also. And I'm going to also put it on doing. Because I want to do these things uh, uh, simultaneously. So, so whatever I'm going to be thinking about in front end, I will implement it in the database. So you can see the tasks that are left are not that much. Right? Immediately if I move this, I'm left with lesser task. Okay, so now let's start because we've already mentioned that we'll be using this. The other thing is you can bookmark this page so that tomorrow when I say use Trello, you are not surprised, right? On what are you supposed to do? You can bookmark the page and make sure that it's part of your list. Right? Because tomorrow I'll say, guys, use Trello and people will be saying, what is the link to Trello? Yeah, I'm going to give you a second to process that. So far, so good. Any complaints? <coughs> Nothing. Yes. Use Asana. Asana. Yeah. Is it also a project management tool? Similar. Similar. 
Uh, yeah, but then you, you must differentiate. But uh, and and the reason I'm showing you Trello is because of the market, right? So what we normally do at Dynamic is that we don't want to be teaching you things that are not really relevant in the market when you leave Dynamic DNA. So most of our clients are already using Trello. Some of them are using Jira. Some of them are using Slack. But then you must identify uh, 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 when you arrive at an organization, they will tell you this is what we use, right? Um, there are some companies that don't use Microsoft Teams. They use Zoom, right? There are some, but then here, uh, uh, um, because those are just communication lines and the way of, uh, uh, you know, of having meetings and that they are not a big issue for us. But then in terms of programming, we make sure that we cover all platforms, your Visual Studio, your 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 NetBeans, you know, your your PyCharm, your Eclipse, um, you know, your Notepad, your Visual Studio Code. And on database we only use SQL, right? Because it's the one which is popular in within our environment and our cust our client base. Now We'll use Trello for now, but there will be a stage where in now we are doing advanced C-Sharp where we'll use Jira. All right. Then when you leave here, you have knowledge of two project management systems that you can utilize. So you won't be surprised if you arrive somewhere else, they say we're using Jira, you go, I've used Jira before. All right. It's basically the same thing. You will be able to drag a task and put it at doing. Uh, this is what we call sprints, right? So each day you can come and say, okay, this is my project, right? Then you know that on Monday, I'm going to push design in the front end and design in the database. Tuesday, I have to push some something else as well. If you feel like you are stuck on database, you can push something else. You can drag something else and put it here. Right? The main aim is that the people who are, are, are supposed to be uh, 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 managing you are supposed to see progress. Right? And you can go and update at each ticket. Right? So I can come here and write a comment and say... Uh, uh, um, you choose what, it, let's say, which one is this? Designing the front end. You can say, I'm going to use Angular for this, right? Using Angular for this and things like that. And then you put that into a comment. That means now when people come here, they are able to see what are you busy with exactly. Why is this, uh, uh, um, uh, what, what, what are you calling it? Why is this card still on doing? Why is it not moving? So you can say, I'm waiting for the database to be finished for me to complete the front end development. Okay, so we are now gonna navigate to our two tools and I'm gonna do this quickly because I'm quite familiar that you guys know these things um, of logging in. I had to spend much more time on um, on Trello because it's, our, it's your first time being exposed to Trello, okay. So I've quickly logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. And if you read the application process, it's just a voting system. And we're going to try to make it as simple as possible. The only issue we have to focus on is let's put a little bit of security, even if it's not 100%. Né? The reason we still don't have online voting today is because security is not necessarily 100%. Right? I mean... If they say we can vote for our favorite uh, political party online, don't you think majority of the youth will be voting? I mean, if it's just a click away to say vote for your favorite party, right? Majority of us will participate, but we are discouraged by the cues that we're going to find. We're di discouraged by the process of voting. I mean, you arrive there, uh, you know, for those who have voted recently, what happens? Do we have any voters here or... By the time elections were here, we were not yet 18. Hmm? Anyone who has ever voted in this class? No one. You have never voted. You voted. What is the process? Um, Let's picture the national votes, the national elections, where in we are voting for not those ones for you know uh, local elections. Let's, speak the bigger ones we're in you know we're vo voting for people to be in parliament the original ones ah they are not strong so with the national ones i think what happens I, i'm just trying to remember here is that um you arrive there you must be having your id right 
they must scan your ID to make sure that you are uh, uh, you are supposed to be voting at that station and things like that. And then if you're not supposed to, to supposed to be voting at that station, that means you don't vote for the municipality. You vo you vote only for national, right? But let's say everything is fine. You are designed you, like you have been assigned to vote at that station. What will then happen is that you will then be required to or you just arrive there you give them your id uh, that's the first queue you make then the second queue it's you'll be given two ballot papers right one is for voting for a national party one is for voting for a national party to to be represented in the in the in the province right you, you get to select provincial and national so from the list of provincial or just you select your favorite person there and from the list of national you will select your favorite party does it make sense then you throw them into those two different ballot boxes then uh, if you are done then they give you that mark on your finger to say you voted and then that's it but then imagine you are voting in Gauteng. we have a lot of people here in Gauteng. so you can imagine the queues i'm sure you have seen most of us the youth we are not really good with the queues the minute there's a queue we start discouraging the process which is happening there but try to think about it why do you think is the reason iec cannot make the votes to be done online huh? are they saying ballot boxes are not being stolen have, you have never heard of such stories yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. ballot boxes were found on the road yeah eh? What, what, what so are you saying the security of losing ballot box it's it's lesser than the security of me being hacked, hacked yeah. mm -hmm. is it equal i mean being hacked could be worse i mean if we hack we could be hacking everything compared to losing one ballot box which could have you know 0 0.05 uh, percent effect right mm -hmm. so th the greater risk is still on the electronization of what of voting there's a lot of loopholes that needs to be covered that's what i'm saying we might not be able to cover everything but let's try our best to see can we really make this thing work yeah? if it can we have a case to say let's select a class rep using our voting system right let's move it forward let's see the loophole from there i know vets university tried to do this some years back and then they had to do another re uh, 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 manual vote because they said the system was tempered with right there are a lot of loopholes that we can come up with okay let's start with the database enough with the talking so i'm easily going to create a database which is something you guys are very familiar with um and we're going to call it voting and as you know i'm going to put my name afterwards okay and then we just need a uh, few tables which are in relation right uh so relationship uh quite important here we just need two tables that we need to create uh that are linked so the maybe two or three so the first one let's create the political parties right so i'll just say political id or let's just say party id party id and then we'll just say uh party name uh i think that's that that's all we need uh and if you remember in the morning party id becomes our primary key and then it needs to be done what guys what do we need to do identity specification right one on one so you just make sure it's yes and it's one on one and this will be our party and remember we can't say parties because we know if we were to do this in mvc it will uh, add an s at the end so we don't have to add an s right now right so first part is done uh let's go create um the people who are supposed to vote yes uh i mean with my speed we're not gonna survive right so i think you guys are much more familiar with saying uh you can you can you can easily uh, redo this at your own pace but it's important remember 
the aim is important to see that it's possible to do you have seen it running so when yours is not working it's not my fault ne? then you have you have to do a lot of pause go back pause you know reverse stop you know there is there is actually two uh, is it two students there's actually two students in the other class who are in level four who are just here to to rewatch and do assessments Okay, so now let's go to the people who are supposed to vote. So we're creating a table for these people who are supposed to vote, uh, and it will look something like this. Um, okay, let's just say voter ID. Uh, so this will be. Let's just say we're looking for your full names, right? So you will be having your full names there. And then we're also looking for email. Okay, these two values I think they are okay according to me. I don't have a problem with them. Okay, so just email changing the data type here to be virtual, and this will be an integer. Okay, and you know. For a primary key, it also needs to be a what? We need to set an identity for this primary key. So I'm gonna keep it at one at one, it's okay. So this will be the voter table. Done. So now I need a table that will link the two. That means we will select who is voting and who are they voting for. Are you with me? So it's who is voting and who are they voting for? We're together there, ne? All right. So I'm gonna create the last table. So let's let's just call it results. So we'll say results ID and we'll pull up who voted. Right? So I'll just say full name. No, no, not full name. I have to pick up the voter ID. So this will be the voter ID. Who voted and who did they vote for? So I will say party ID. All these, if you remember, they were now integers in their own tables. Uh, so this table is just table to link all of this together. So the primary key here becomes the result ID. And then, as usual, uh, identity specification one on one. Lastly, is this thing we did um, some somewhere in the morning today, which is to set up the relationships. So I'm going to say set relationships. I have two of those relationships, so I added two of them obviously here. The process is slow, hey? This thing of streaming. Okay, now it has cached up. Right. So from the first relationship, we click it, we go here, click here, and then it asks us a couple of questions here in terms of um, what do we want to link. So we will mention that uh, the primary key table in our case will be uh, we'll select party and we can go and say give us the party ID also on this table is called party ID and we can implement the same for the table of the voter where we can pick up the voter ID at some stage once that is done can easily press close and this table is called result and once it gives us this pop-up we just say yes we are heading back to Trello to tell it that thank you for designing the database 
it's now at done is the process understandable huh you sure guys okay uh we check if we have anyone who has said something. I don't think we have any comments. What, 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 what good. Right. Um, now, as this is happening, I want to make sure immediately that I can connect C -sharp with SQL. So I'm going to move connect C -sharp with SQL immediately here. Right. So as you can see, the task keeps on coming. So if I'm working for someone else, they can easily go check what is this guy busy with and they will be impressed that, oh, he's done with this, he's done with this, done with this, we are good to go. Okay, so let's navigate back now to Visual Studio and I'm going to create a new project which will be of Windows Form. This also, I'm going to try to move faster here because all of us know how to do this. So I'm going to call my application voting system I don't have to put my name on it now um, okay as it's loading on your side I'm gonna be uh, doing what I do best here renaming the form um, so let me rename this one so I'm gonna have a login page And I'm gonna add another form I'm gonna call this register I'm gonna have another form I'm gonna call it vote done And I'm going to try to play around all of this form. Let me start by going online and getting IEC. I'm interested only in the logo here. And whatever I'm doing here, no one should say they are struggling with this. Okay. So those basic controls I always tell you about, changing the background color. Um, this is a form called what? Login. I just call it login here. And for the sake of you guys being able to see what is happening on the screen, I will increase the font. And then from there, change sizable to fixed tool window. And make sure that my form is starting at the center of the screen one more thing I'll do is to make sure that um, minimize box and maximize box are turned off uh, I'll just go to the size and pick up a size which will make sense to me so I'm gonna choose 500 by 500 I will do this for each and every form right so I'll go to this one do the same thing 500 by 500 in fact this will be stupid to start there let me start with the other things Let's change to center screen minimize maximize i don't even have to talk here i think you are quite familiar on what's happening and then the color will be changed to white I think this is the only time I can change the size to 500 by 500 done so this form and this form are exactly the same I'm just left with the last one everything must be accordingly change this fixed tool window 
and change a couple of few things here. Done. So all I have to do now is work in the front end and I can move that front end card to on Trello to from doing to complete it. Okay, so let's go get toolbox. Most people when they lose toolbox, they do not know where to get it. So in my case, I prefer just coming to window and say reset window layout. Toolbox usually pops up when you do that. And you can pin it back to your application. Okay, so let's start with um, the register. So this will be easy. Taking a label, taking a text box. So when we register, we must picture that table we created for voter, right? How does it look like? So I'm gonna navigate back. So the one for voter only requires full names and email. Those are the only two things. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Change or oh, change the text from label one to full name and a user will respond here with their full name and then i'm now going to request for email and the user will respond with their email here and then let's just get a button this will be a button to register with where are we? Okay, we won't register. So this will be the register button. Okay, and we're gonna get a link label in case you are already a member. We'll just put this as login. So if you are already a member, instead of registration, you can log in. Uh, next up i need to design this so i'm gonna put a picture box which is the one i've already downloaded i don't know where it went there it is okay to make it look nice i'm gonna put it at the corner like that So my front end in terms of this page, I think I'm done. I just need to rename a few things because it's still part of front end. So I need to rename this text box from being called text box one. This will hold full name uh, T, the T will stand for text box. This will now be email T standing for text box login l for link label and register b short for button done so if i run my application obviously register doesn't load it's not gonna be shown here but to make my forms all look the same i will copy the content of all the forms right uh, uh, like all the controls from the picture box and everything I'm gonna highlight everything and copy it and Transfer it to one of the forms so I can transfer it to login Like that and I paste it here Let me just move it Where it will make sense paste it here. So if you check these two forms, they look exactly the same right now Right now no difference at all I can do the same to the other form because the forms have the same size. You can do the same and just make sure that all my forms have the same design. So whatever changes, it will not affect how my, my forms looks like. Okay, so register has been dealt with. Let's talk to login now. So login will just require you to give us uh, Should we say give us those two things again? Full name and email because we forgot the part for password. Ne? 
so let's just say for you to log in you need to give us what correct full name and the email address so now we just need to change the text of register and call it login and then this text for login we change it to register so it's just vice versa here nothing special um, then from there what else is missing okay let's change their names their names are somehow not the same so this will be register l for link label and this will now be login b okay <clears throat> this is all we need so far then let's picture how we will need information here from voting so once you are in right we are going to just give you a list of parties in a in a combo box all right so i'm going to delete some of the stuff and i'm going to delete this this button is not only going to be called register the text for it will just say vote and then if you are done voting we'll copy paste we must have another button here this button will just call it logout okay so let's let's change their names here from button one this will be a logout button this one will be called vote button instead of full names here we will change the text and say party and then we'll change this to become a combo box here's my combo box so here on this combo box we'll deal with it later but let's make sure that this combo box has a correct name So this will be the party combo box and we'll make sure that the drop down style is changed to drop down list done so the rest of our front end is done guys so this is page page for voting page for registering and page for logging in everything is done back to trello remember whatever you do design the front end done connect to sql is not done the other thing we might want to implement immediately is to say um we will send you an email okay all right let's validate the data bit by bit we we can complete this application very quickly it's important to always update what you are busy with right because some of your bosses have, have a way of telling that to do a database must take you five minutes and if they go to trello and find that it's still saying you are busy doing it and there's no task being moved to done that means there is no progress okay back to visual studio so let me check my trailer once more i forgot what was there uh, validate the data using back end so that will be easy to do okay so let's start by linking up the forms so if you are on this form and you want to go to register this is login so you'll click on this link and on this link all you do is call the form for register so you can just say register register form equals to new register and then you can say register form dot show and then this current form which is open which is login please hide it those uh, center screen and what 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 becomes very important here okay so this specific code you might need it very now if you want to go to if you're on register and you want to go back to login 
you just call and change the name of the form here so login instead of navigating to that you go to the login form the power of copy and paste so now let me show you a brief uh, design which is already there So what you are seeing right now is the complete application, right? It can only navigate to two pages for now. So if this is the login page, you're going to give us your full name and you're going to give us your full email and you'll press login. We have not yet implemented this. But then if you're, it's your first time visit, you press log, uh, register and you still register with the same details and you just press register. We have not yet implemented this. Keep in mind that we also not don't have a page to take us to to the voter right where you can vote okay let's check something else now um back to my application let's start with register because it's easier to do so remember one of the things is saying validate right so let's validate the data so i'm just gonna say in case someone click the register button check if ever um what are we checking we're gonna check if ever the full name text dot text and the length of it if it's greater than zero and the email text dot text dot length it's also greater than zero if that is the case we're going to implement something if not we will tell the user to go to hell Okay, so if the user doesn't want to give us the full name and the email, we're going to tell them that full name and email are a requirement. But if they do give us those things, what then do we do? Okay, so this is the part for registration button. The same will happen for logging in. Logging in, if someone press logging in, we basically just copy the same code we found on this section. They control using the same thing. So we'll check if full name to text is greater than that. If not that, we'll just say these two are a requirement. They are not an option. Okay, so from there, what we're going to do now next is to implement the brain of register here. So that's the part we're connecting to the database is very important. So to connect, we navigate to this section called Server Explorer, and then we select Microsoft SQL Server, then we type the details. So voting tender all my details that I've put there seems like they are very correct once I'm connected to the DB and I'm able to mirror my database what I just have to do now is to go to the connection string here on the far right side bottom right in fact you will see there's a section return connection string so copying that and keeping it in the clipboard of the computer memory and then I can I have to do this in all of the pages by the way right all of my forms so I'll start with the login so when the login wherever you want it maybe you want it when a person press uh, the login at the very top of each form you will type the following using system dot data dot SQL client 
right that's the the code you write on each and every page so we've done it on logging in we're going to use it also on register using system dot data dot sql client now if you you have been practicing this becomes easy to manipulate i'll do it again on the vote go using system dot data dot sql client there we go so now i have every page ready to listen to uh to the database so from one of the pages i can this code will be available everywhere by the way so from here can start saying please bring the connection which we're going to call con um, and we do the normal things of initiating the connection string like that now in between the quotation after we've just mentioned uh, our connection string which is called con in between those quotations that's where we're gonna put that code we just copied from our properties of the connection so if I say control V that code will be posted and I can just reveal the password it's important to reveal the password in your case you guys you'll be typing one two three okay so I'm going to copy this line because this line is essential in each and every form so I go to this form inside the partial class once more I paste the same line of code I go to login inside the partial class I paste the same line of code so this statement of saying using system.data.sql client and this one for SQL connection is similar everywhere else does not change okay and then next thing we can choose where do you want to start with this I want to start it on uh, register okay this is where we can move one of our uh, sprint from Trello from doing to done so here what we're going to do now is to say uh, in fact we forgot to move uh, validate data using back end this has been done okay so we need we need a way now to say test application and send email two more tasks left and the last one is just to publish so this all of this will do them concurrently so Right, so let's start with the registration phase. So we'll, we'll, we'll do intense. So this is the part for more validation. This is where more validation comes in. We'll do a try, right? And you see if I type try and press tab twice, it will die, uh, write a try and a catch. This is a, an exception handling method for trying to connect to the database. So if it doesn't connect, I will display a message box to say, we fail to connect fail to connect to database you can write a more specific message and say contact the system administrator you know things like that um, so what we we're trying to do we're trying to say con dot open and then if this worked we're going to say con dot close right the assumption that doesn't work has been caught here so if it does work what are we going to do we're going to initiate what we call sql command and we're going to call this com it's different from sql connection so new sql command the difference is that this one depends on the con that we created at the top it's very important to note that sql command it's different from sql connection just because command works on a connection so this is where we're going to write the query this is um, where we're going to implement the connectivity so we'll say um, insert into we're registering a voter here right into a table called voter and the values for that table look like this full names and email double quotation two positive sign pull up the full name text box and we we'll go with the text 
do the same here double quotation two positive sign here we are pulling up email text box dot text it's just simple like that next up we need to do another try because we want to execute the command so we'll say try this is the intense one i was talking about uh, more validation so with this one message box what time is it oh, still have 15 minutes message box dot show like that and we'll say field to register right and as i'm saying you can make this message make sense to the user and tell them why are they failing to register but if they are passing to register that means com dot execute none query worked and if it has worked you can display a message to the user and this message will be uh let's just say success all right we're just going to display success and we might as well just take the user from this page and take them to the login page so how do we take someone to the login page i think there was a code for that just that copy this code so we can tell the user success uh, you will be redirected to login you will be redirected to login page because you are successfully just registered okay but one more thing that you must also keep in mind is that we have mentioned as part of our Trello task that we will send an email to the voter right so this email will be saying either you voted or you have successfully registered so let me just create that function of sending an email so i'll say send email as a function so this is just a function and as you can tell the minute i write this function visual studio will tell me is not aware of this function then i will say okay if you're not aware what do you suggest i do visual studio will say do you want me to create a function for you which is called send email and i will agree to that so this becomes now a function called send email this is where we bring the knowledge of that other video of sending an email right which it's easier to get i just don't know or i, I think i forgot the details but let me go online and check um c sharp uh send email using windows form uh -huh. because this code is not a code that you must cram or what thing like that it's just a code i like using which i find online here okay there it is from here to the catch copy paste at it at this direction there will be a couple of errors initially that will be thrown to you as the user and as you can see it comes with a try and catch which is something you have been seeing right now let me deal with this message and say fail to send email right and i can just say check your mail and there is a couple of things that i also need to change here to make sure that the errors the error message disappears there are a couple of error messages and they are not supposed to give you a headache so knowing my email just don't know okay here it is I'll copy this email and i will start pasting it where it is required so this was this guy email i'm gonna paste my own email same as here paste my own email and the password i think for my own email is this pass at word twenty twenty two. this is a test email as you can see uh i used the nice programmer as the name uh, so everything is checks out what's needed now is for visual studio to to work with me here okay so visual studio has a way of telling you you have an error here and this is how we can fix it so i come here it says you are missing using what 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 most of the errors will disappear 
and if I go to the second one it will also detect that you are, you are missing the other piece of information okay this is to what who are you sending this email to we are sending this email to a person also registering who's now at email.txt the subject of the email will just say welcome to IEC and then the body we can just modify the body and say hello and then we pull up the name of the person coming from full name we're greeting the person now hello whoever is registering and we can uh, say uh, you know I don't know what to say here next line next line welcome to IEC voting system All right next line next line thank you done so a person will get that particular message uh, yeah and then that's it so now in terms of the register part this is done right let's test it out okay there we go so when our application loads it usually loads at uh, the login phase right uh, so from the login phase it's then that we can navigate back to the register so we are here we'll click register it has opened the registration page and we're going to register let's use uh, who are we using now who did we use in the morning for testing an email being sent is your email open okay what's your full name again GAO GAO okay uh, and your surname TAU okay you said your email was SPE SPE NK Spank I'm reading <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> hmm? What are you saying? Spank what? Spanky what? So what are we writing here? S P E N K. Why didn't we pick this up in the morning? We were hungry. Hmm? Cause I'm so upset. Okay, let's go. S P E N K I E. What? Then the surname T-A-U. Ask no questions. That's that's what they are saying. Ask no questions. Hmm? At gmail.com. Okay. Hey, we missed the dot com. Gmail.com. Hmm. Are you made our day? Okay. Now remember when we press register, there's a lot that happens in the background, right? It first check did we give it the full name or the email address if that is okay we've done with the first part so we press register you see now it says it's a success we've registered ne? Um, you will now be redir redirected to a page called uh, login page but don't forget that when we press okay it's gonna attempt to send an email okay before it can load the other page Okay, now it says check your email. That means things have went well. Now, Spanky, check your email. <laughs> did you did you receive an email? Yes. Spank it. <laughs> Spank the PC. <laughs> What does the email say? It 
that's it ne? so that's the message we wrote so that means now if we press okay it's gonna take us now to login but remember we've not yet implemented login if we confirm with our database if we do have any voters we can go to our database and check in terms of the voter list and we can easily just check do we have any voters here um select top 1000 rows and spanky should be part of our voter right now when it comes to a party this is easy we don't have to do it on that side of the design we might as well just come here and say edit top 200 rows and start adding our political party so we can do anc we can do eff we can do da we can do action sa we can do ifp we can do cope uh like a lot of them we can we can load those uh political parties here we don't have to 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 stress about what's happening uh let's check our things what what have we completed in terms of our um trello oh can you even see other things let me close this other things are not appearing okay there we go in terms of our trailer uh, testing the application is still ongoing more validation needed sending an email to voter this has been completed you can all agree ne? because Spanky did receive the email connect C sharp with SQL server this is not complete in all the phases right so looking at the time there is no possible way that we'll be able to complete this uh, in three minutes okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna at least show you the part of uh, of voting so in terms of voting on this combo box what we're going to do is just to load the uh, the the data here using the same style by the way so I was just gonna say from the data source which is a database data set give me a new connection and I give it the same details SQL server dot dynamic DNA dot co dot city right SQL server and provided with the correct password database would have been voting tender and if I press OK and I say yes include the sensitive data next next and I'm not interested in all the tables I just want the party right so if I say I want the party like that the party comes with the party ID okay I don't want the party ID like that display member party name value member uh, we might not put that one okay done done so now this section for voting will load only the data which is found as part of the part but let's let's fool it and say when we do press login please take us to this is when things are fine we can say when we do press login please take us to this section so we'll say vote is that what it's called yeah vote okay take us to vote so this will be voting form and this will also be voting form okay remember this is us hijacking it now we're not even verifying that the user exists in the database or not what we're doing is just to load the application so if I press login, if, oh, okay, I need to just give this dummy information here. Press login. And you can see, if I do press login, yo, I can see from your screen the processing speed here. It's a little bit slow. Okay, let's wait, let's wait. All right, okay, we're there. So you can see all those values that are listed in the database will start popping up. And if we were done with this application, what was going to happen is that 
once you have logged in it was going to keep you in mind to say this is the person who logged in and when you press vote we increase the number of votes on what on ifp or whatever thing you're voting for right and then we list you in the database that means next time when you log in this stage for voting must never allow you to vote again because you have already did what voted right so we're just gonna check in the database does this person with this email and this full name right have they voted before yes okay so when you press vote you will get a message to say you've already voted, casted your vote you can no longer vote again and things like that but because of time we could not manage to complete that right and i shall see you at some point okay let me end my live stream